Here we go. Court does call the cases of the people versus Barash Scott. I have two cases before. New Michigan Atra, first assistant prosecuting attorney for the people. Sandra White on behalf of Barash Scott. Mr. Scott, can you state your name, please? Yes, sir. Barash Scott, sir. Your Honor. All right. Uh, okay. Your Honor, I only have, I'm sorry, I only have one case with Mr. Scott. I don't know what's the other one. Has he been arraigned on this other one? Yes, he was a on just on Monday. Okay. Um, I need a public defender on this case. Mike Getty, assistant public defender on behalf of Mr. Scott, Your Honor. All right. And Mr. Getty and I guess Ms. White, so that you're aware, that is case 23F2217. And it's a charge of uh, resist, uh, resisting and obstructing. Uh, Mr. Scott was arraigned on that case on the 27th. Location 23F217? Yes, 217, sir. Thank you. All right. Your Honor, um, yes. I'll say I haven't had a chance to, our office hasn't had a chance to talk to Mr. Scott about this matter, so we would be asking for an adjournment. All right. Ms. White. Yes, Mr. Scott, has, we have talked and we wish to try mental health court. So we will be asking for an adjournment for an assessment. Okay, so he's up in arms. So let me see if he's changed his mind. Mr. Scott, do you know, no longer want mental health court? No, I would like mental health court, Miss Miss White. Okay, you look like you changed your mind. All right, I'm sorry, Your Honor. How fast can we get an assessment done on that, or do the intake on that? I'm the not reason sure. is I'm not clear. Um, without let me see if I can find out. The, the public defender withdrew from his first case, and that was because of, according to the motion to withdraw, because of the complaining witness. So I don't know, and I guess my question was going to be, are, are they going to have to withdraw from this case? But I, I would have no way of determining that at this point. So, um, all right. We're usually running on a three-week time frame on that one. Mr. Gaddy? Yes, Your Honor. Um, any objection to a three-week adjournment? Uh, no, Your Honor. All right. Probable cause conference will be adjourned March 23rd, 2023. 9 a.m. is resumed by indicates in both of these matters. Uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Scott wishes me to address bond. Okay, have at it. I don't know the circumstances of the new R&O case, of course. Um, he thought that he was, he wasn't sure why he has a new R&O case. What he thought might have been the violation was because he had to go to the hospital and they had to take off the tether to do an MRI. And they, he was told something about he didn't sign out. So he's saying that the, the violation that I'm looking at in case 1309 was because he was. I actually don't know. I never got a copy of the violation. Okay. In looking at it. Okay. All right. It does indicate that on the 23rd at approximately 10.23 p.m., they took him into custody after tracking his location, um, and that after that, well, no, they, okay, that's not at least what I'm reading here, because on... 223.22 at 7.04 p.m., they received a, an inclusion zone alert for Mr. Scott. At 7.20, they found him at a stationary point at 11.04 South Harris, and they contacted dispatch to send an officer out. At um, 10.23 on that same day, two deputies arrived or were informed by GS that the defendant was in custody at that point. The deputies of Price um, JSG that they were in custody after tracking his location. At that point, he was taken to St. Joe's Hospital around 11 p.m. and was released the next morning at 7.20. And then also then at that point, and they may have had to at that point cut off the tether, depending on what was going on, but he was then in violation at that point and that they were attempting to locate him. All right. Well, so the, he, the violation, 
the violation occurred prior to him being taken to the hospital or taken into custody. Right. As I'm okay. reading this. Okay. Well, he wants this court to know that he was compliant. He's unsure about the violation. He would like to be released again on tether. He still has a job to go to the same place he can stay at. And so he would like to be released either on a PR bond or a PR with a tether. Well, he's going to have the tether because this is the same problem that we've been running into. But if he wants a violation hearing on this, I'll set a violation hearing before the 23rd. But I'm not going to change his bond at this point because I want to figure out what happened. Because if what he relayed to you that he was at the hospital and that that was the violation, that's not the case as I'm okay. reading it. Your Honor, um, if I could note, it, it looks like uh, from the complaint in the, uh, the new RNO, it, it's alleged to have happened at St. Joe's. Right, which is probably when they were trying to take him in or yeah. when they took and then from that he was taken into custody. So um, would you like a violation hearing? Sure. All right. So I'll set a violation hearing on this. Would you be ready to go next week? Yes. All right. I'll set it for March 9th, 2022. At what time do you want to set that? At 9 a.m. Versus Zoom invite indicates. Thank and you. And then his other matters are set for the 23rd. On his other matter at this time, his bond will continue. And his bond will continue actually on both cases. And if you get the mental health referral over to me, I will sign off. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. I'll try to get that to you today. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Scott. Can I ask a question, please? I don't want to interrupt you. Well, you already have, so go ahead with your question. Um, when I get put on this tether today, is my bond still the same as six uh, coming in at uh eight to six? I mean, uh, eight yeah, eight to six. That's all I want to know, so I don't violate that. Well, for right now, you're not going to be violating anything because you're going to be there for a moment. And so we will figure that out at a later time. Am I am I getting released today, sir? I am not changing your bond. Let me. Okay, so that means that because I already got I got two PR I got a PR. Can bond I see I, his? Can I see his? Because they said they said on my uh, on the computer that I'm supposed to be getting a release on tether today. It says it on the computer. I paid my bond. My mom paid my fifty dollar bond, and I got a uh, and I got a PR bond from Miss Fink. So that's why I was asking. So yeah, I, paid my see, I, I don't know why they did that. I see. Um, so the $50 was paid. Yes. But at this point, I think he's being held on the bond violation. So I guess I have to give him a bond. So you're going to need to post another cash bond on that. Can you give me a love bond? My intent was not to release you because you were in violation. Okay. So. Um, can I have a low bond like I had before? Maybe Dan, that way I can, you know, see. Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott. Yeah. Yes, sir. You were doing very well for a while. Yes, sir. And then I get, and you need to understand what you're facing. Yes, I sir. have a bond violation on your tether. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. Then somehow or another, at least as I'm able to determine, you pick up a new charge once you're taken into custody for that bond violation and, you're, and you pick up a new charge at the hospital. But, yes, sir. I understand. I changed a little bit since then. I, I have. I, I just want. I just. I just want to. Um. You know. Try to. I want. I want to be out. You know. what I'm saying while I do this assessment and stuff like that, so my grandma could take me and stuff like that. But I really. I really. I'd rather, I'd rather you put me on tether so that way you can. You know. Know where I am. I did good for four months. Can you, uh give me that chance? Like give me that uh, accountability so that way I can go home to my family because I do have bills to pay. And if I don't pay them bills or if I stay in for a long time, they'll cut my social security off. And then I have to uh, do an assessment with my social security next week. That's why I asked. If I Scott, have, yes, Mr. Sir. Scott. Yes, sir. I've set the hearing on the bond violation for next week. You're going to be held pending that bond, but that bond, that violation here. That's my final decision. I'm not talking about it anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Court does call the case of People versus Joe Gill.